Exercise 8. On December 1, 2010, a company paid a $23,400 premium on a 36-month insurance policy for coverage beginning on that date. Refer to that policy and fill in the blanks in the following table. And we're asked to calculate the amount that would appear in prepaid insurance on the balance sheet and insurance expense on the income statement using the accrual basis and also the cash basis. Let's do the cash basis first. Under the cash basis of accounting, an expense is recorded when the cash is paid. The amount of any future coverage is not recorded as prepaid insurance. So on the balance sheet, under the cash basis, prepaid insurance would be zero. And on the income statement, all $23,400 would be expensed in 2010, the period in which the payment is made. And since there was no additional cash flow in the remaining years, there would never be an asset account, nor would there be any additional expense. So I'm sure you're thinking, well, that's great, that's so easy, why don't we use it? Well, if you think about it, the cash basis makes it look like it cost $23,400 to insure the company in 2010, and there was no insurance cost in 2011 through 13. So it really isn't an accurate reflection of the cost of running their business. So now let's look at the accrual basis. Under the accrual basis, the amount is initially recorded in the asset account, prepaid insurance. We take the $23,400 cost and allocate it evenly among the 36 months of coverage. Our insurance cost is $650 per month. So on December 1, 2010, the initial journal entry to record the cash payment is a debit to prepaid insurance and a credit to cash for $23,400. When we go to prepare financial statements on December 31st, we need to recognize one month of expense. The journal entry would be a debit to insurance expense for $650 and a credit to prepaid insurance. The balance in prepaid insurance on the balance sheet as of December 31st, 2010 would be $22,750. So under the accrual basis, $650 would appear on the income statement as insurance expense in 2010 leaving us with a balance in prepaid insurance of $22,750. We had insurance coverage for one month, and we record one month of expense. In the next year, we have 12 months' worth of coverage. So the adjusting entry on December 31, 2011 would be 12 months at $650 per month, $7,800, dropping the balance in prepaid insurance to $14,950. The 2011 financial statements would report $14,950 on the balance sheet in prepaid insurance and $7,800 on the income statement in insurance expense. During 2012, an additional 12 months of expense is incurred. The journal entry is a debit to insurance expense for $7,800 and a credit to prepaid insurance. This drops the balance in prepaid insurance to $7,150. The 2012 financial statements will report $7,150 on the balance sheet as prepaid insurance and $7,800 on the income statement as insurance expense. And during 2013, the remaining 11 months of coverage is used. The adjusting entry is a debit to insurance expense and a credit to prepaid insurance for $7,150, dropping the balance in the asset account to zero. The 2013 financial statements will report a zero balance on the balance sheet for prepaid insurance and 11 months of expense, $7,150, on the income statement. It's important to recognize that regardless of the method chosen, total insurance expense over the 36 months is $23,400. The accrual basis, however, is an accurate reflection of the necessary cost to generate revenues in each of those years. That's why the accrual basis is used for generally accepted accounting principles.